Oh my god, we're gonna be late for class. Do you need? Yeah, do you I need do. Help? Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> Am I here with Miss Garcia? What do you think about friendship these days in middle school? Um, friendships in middle school, they can be fun, but also there's a lot of drama. Okay, how, how are they different from your experience in middle school? Um, I feel like it's pretty similar in middle school, back in the day and then now. Um, still a lot of drama, um, but some good friendships. Okay. Do you think friendships last long in middle school? Uh, some of them can, yes, but some don't last. What is a good way to keep a healthy friendship? Um, a good way to keep a healthy friendship, I would say... <laughs> To be kind to your friends, um, be respectful of their boundaries, um, and yeah. Okay. Do you do you have a good friendship with your students? Um, I would say so. Yeah, I feel like um, they can come to me if they have any any problems. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bro, you have a pen so I can borrow? Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Can I borrow one of your pencils? No, go get your own. Okay. Who am I here with? Josie. Dial. Do you have a healthy friendship or a healthy friend group? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Has <coughs> your friend group slash friendship faced any problems? Yup. Yeah. If so, what kind of problem? Her. Um, fake people, I guess. Her. In what situation have you helped your friend in? Um, lending the money, I guess. I don't know. Giving no money and never getting paid back. You guys stick together. Uh, like helping them out in bad situations, like through a breakup and stuff like that. I'm okay. saying. Okay. Thank you. Mrs. K. This year, have you had any issues with friendship problems? Yes, lots. If so, how many people have come to you about friendship problems? I would say at least a couple times a week, someone will come with, to me talking about a friendship. Okay. How do you deal with these situations? Mm -hmm. I talk to them about what's going on. And um, sometimes we decide whether or not it's like worth it to maintain the friendship or not. And if it is, then sometimes I'll do like a mediation between the people. Mm -hmm. Okay. In these situations, does the friendship stay together or fall apart? Sometimes it stays together. I think if it's a strong friendship to begin with, it should be able to withstand problems, right? And you should be able to work things out. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they stay together, and then other times um, they decide that it's not worth it to put the effort in, and they decide not to be friends anymore. Okay. What advice do you have to not start friendship drama? I would say deal with problems in person and like if you have a problem with a friend, talk to them about it. Don't talk to other people about it or post up on Snap because mm -hmm. that increases the drama and causes more problems. Okay, thank you. Stop, stop fighting! Don't do that! Pass, pass, on, just fight me. And do you have a healthy friendship? Sure. Yeah. Has your friendship faced any problems? Yes, a lot. Because he's fake. Yeah. If so, what kind of problems? Like, I block him for like two months. <laughs> she blocked me for no reason. Okay. Situation, have you helped your friend in? 
uh, like schoolwork, like yeah. Care food. It's a way you guys stick together. Uh, which is like this. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't even like Alexi. Like I, I just don't like her. She's hella annoying and all that, you know. Okay, but like if like you're my friend too, but like you shouldn't be talking bad about other people like that. Mm, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't even like her anymore. Like she's hella annoying now, you know? Yeah. Like, I could see what you're talking about. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I'm here with Mr. Longley. How long have you been friends with your best friend? Um, let's see, I think my best friend had probably been friends with him. Let's see, we were 14 when we met, so that is 29 years. Damn. Um, what are ways your friends have helped you before? Uh, let's see, my friends helped me a whole bunch when I was in high school and college, just being people to talk to, asking for advice, um, dealing with different things, being really supportful or supportive. Um, it was great, you know, my best friends, I'm still friends with them and stuff, so like when I met my wife and I started dating her and like introduced her to all them, be like, all right guys, what do you think? Made sure they, they approved of her too before, uh, you know, we, we got married, so it was good. Oh, that's nice. Um, uh, <laughs> what problems have you guys had? Problems that we had? Um, you know, nothing like huge, just little things here and there. We'd argue about different stuff and, you know, a couple days we'd kind of be quiet and keep some distance and eventually, like, we'd get back together after we chilled out, we apologize and say, like, all right, I'm moving on, nothing big. Uh, how do you maintain your friendship? Um, yeah, I think to maintain your friendship is just to show the person that you're there for them, you know, support them, cheer them on when they do good things, you know, um, be someone that they can talk to if they need to talk to someone, someone that's uh, there to help them have a good time and, you know, just do those things. And the last question is, what do you think that good friends do? Um, yeah, I mean, I think good friends are there for you whenever you need them. Um, you don't have to talk to them all the time, like, but they'll, you know, you know that if you call them up, they'll be there for you no matter what. Like, I've got friends that, now that we all have our own families and stuff like that, we don't see them all the time, but I know, like, if I called any of them up and said, hey, I got this going on, I really need some help, can you be there? I know they'd be there for me. Mm, that's nice. All right, uh, thank you. All right, thank you.